Welcome to Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's an NBA Tuesday night on ESPN and EA Sports as we get set for Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. As this one gets underway, what's the game plan here for the Cavs? You can't speak about Klay Thompson without mentioning Steph Curry. And likewise, you can't mention Steph Curry without talking about Klay Thompson. I see them as a tandem. Their play last year gives you pause to say, this is a special, special offensive backcourt. Green's working hard, backing down his opponent. And an offensive foul called against Green. Names four-time MVP, just one of five players to have won the award that many times. You look at the names he's with, Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan. He truly is one of the great players of all time. Well, there's no questioning that, Mike. I don't care what your top ten list, or even if you narrow it down to quote the Mount Rushmore of best players in NBA history, he's going to be under consideration. He can be, and maybe already is, the best small forward to ever play this game. Thompson's first field goal attempt off the mark. Irving set to bring it up. James against Barnes. For the layup, the whistle, and a foul called against Green. That's his second foul, and he'll head to the line to shoot two. I love everything about Mazda. His agility, mobility, and hostility. You take those three into account, you've got yourself a really good center. Jeff, I didn't know that Love's middle name, Wesley, was in honor of former NBA star Wes Unsell. He's a family friend. And Unsell, just like Love, a big guy who can rebound and throw great outlet passes. Well, that's what gets overlooked a lot of times with Love and his shooting and his rebounding sort of dominate the conversation. But those outlet passes that he throws, those pinpoint passes, does remind you a little bit of Wes Unsell, who was by far the best of all time at the outlet pass. Wide open for three. Can't hit from beyond the arc. It's a make or miss league. If they're to win this game going forward, they're gonna have to make these open shots. Throws the alley-oop. Oh, what a play as he slams it home. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Curry fires yet another three-pointer. Curry's unable to hit from downtown. Irving bringing it up. Great to see Kevin Love back in Cleveland. It was killing him to be on the sidelines during that playoff run last year, Jeff. He's going to be a huge bonus this season. Exactly, particularly when you miss due to injury, Mike. And he had sacrificed so much role-wise. And again, his ability to shoot long range, to post, and to offensive rebound, that combination is really difficult to find. Kevin Love with a nice play. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Curry jump shot. Rebound handled by Mosgo. That's become a familiar sight. Watching him grab rebound after rebound. He's definitely putting in the work. And we'll have a 20-second timeout. Jeff, the coach has some decisions to make right now. When you're using your 20-second timeout, it can be done for different reasons. Here, I think what they're using it for is a quick play to break this run and try to get a well-executed hoop 
coming out of the timeout. The team needs to refocus. The coach has to do it at a timeout. He can't get it done on the fly on the floor. Stepping in for the Golden State Warriors, number nine, Andre Iguodala. From the corner, a three-pointer. Can't connect from way downtown. Hey, you're not a one-man team. You've got to spread the ball around so that you can get better shots than that. A coach cannot stand for those type of shots. Fires from downtown. Off the mark, quite can't get that double-digit lead. Finds a space and takes the wide open three. And Andre Iguodala with a nice look from downtown. He scored three three-pointers in the previous game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. James on the drive, goes to the goal, and LeBron James with the bucket. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Pure talent right there to be able to make something out of nothing. Good defense, better offense. There's the pick. Williams on the drive for two. Draws the contact. Yep, it's a foul called against Thompson. Picks up his first personal. And Mo Williams will go to the line with seconds to go in the first quarter. And he hits the first free throw. to an end. Cleveland's up by seven. We'll be right back with more basketball here on ESPN after this short break. Point lead for the Cavaliers. They double him. Nice job drawing the foul. It's called against Verizhao. And Sean Livingston will get to shoot at the free throw line. He's shooting 71% on the season. Knocks down the first. throws. Cleveland's leading Golden State by a score of 17 to 10. Irving by 
Bears. Jumper won't go. Blows past the defender to the basket. He's foul. Anderson Barajal picks up his second foul of the night. And Sean Livingston will go to the line. He's two for two from the line here tonight. And he connects on the first free throw. Substitutions, Cleveland. Entering the game for the Warriors. Number 30, Stephen Curry. And gets both points from the line. Jeff, we've talked so much about LeBron James, the championships, the MVPs, the incredible numbers. Sometimes we forget he's just a great team player. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> LeBron James? I haven't heard of him. We haven't talked about him very often, have we, over the last decade or so that we talk about him on every broadcast, whether he's playing or not? Listen, the crux of this guy is this. He's a global brand, but at heart, he's all about the team. Inside. Yep, he hit a, a foul called against Love. And Andre Iguodala will go to the line for a couple of free throws. Smart basketball, preventing an easy score and putting a poor free throw shooter to the free throw line. for two from the line. James into the front court. For three, the wide open shot. Bang, hits from downtown. Cleveland shooting 60% from beyond the arc here tonight. And fans from this team must be experiencing deja vu. Why am I speaking French? I don't know, but I am. So seeing how well their team has shot the three, it's just like the last game. The Warriors with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Quick rebound by James. He's averaging six boards per game this season. Jeff, earlier we talked about LeBron James. One thing we forget, he just loves to play. And that's what it comes down to, Mike. This can be a very boring profession if you don't love the game of basketball. And people out there, fans say, what do you mean if they don't love it? Listen, not every NBA basketball player loves the process and the lifestyle that comes with being an NBA player. They don't love the game. They love what the game brings them. They don't love the game of basketball itself. James does love it. And that's why, to me, he's been able to maintain such a high standard of play over the course of his career. Take a look at Curry. Slight of frame, not a big, strong guy, yet he's got some real toughness out on the court. Well, listen, if you can score like that and you're facing defenses geared to limiting you and making it hard on you, and you still have the ability to figure it out and score big numbers in this league, you have to have the most important toughness there is, Mike, and that's mental toughness. He's the real deal. He can shoot it deep, he can drive with an array of finishes and floaters, and then he is an outstanding passer, particularly in pick and roll situations. Subbing in, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Number two, Kyrie Curry from downtown, the off-balanced attempt. Curry's three-point shot won't go. It's been a rough first half for him behind the three, no doubt about it. But this is the kind of guy who has the shooting stroke that can allow him to bounce back from a poor first half. Here's the screen, blows past his man. Thompson's not able to hit the three.
Irving against Curry. Gets the wide open look for three. Misses from beyond the arc. J.R. Smith's two for three from outside. That's not a stop, that's just a miss. The other team, wide open shot, not good enough defensively, especially when you're trying to set a tone going forward in the first half. Irving against Curry. Moves around the defender to the rim. There's the whistle. And Kyrie Irving will get to shoot two free throws from the line. It's hard to score in this league. But you have a better chance if you're a great free throw shooter to do it at the free throw line. This is good basketball right here. Be aggressive, take the contact, and get to the free throw line. leading Golden State by a score of 28 to 12. Green against Love. Curry on the drive to the rim, able to hit. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Irving against Curry. Puts it up, nice soft touch. That's a 13-2 run for the Cavs. Curry against Irving. Curry fires for three. Strong rebound by James. And the first half comes to an end. The Cavaliers up by 16. Let's see what's on Jalen Rose's mind right now. Hello, everyone. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cavaliers were the dominant team in that first half, without question. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. The Warriors have got themselves in a bad situation that seems likely to only get worse. And it's easy to see how it got so bad with just a passing glance at their shot chart. Have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Field goal percentage. The Golden State Warriors definitely wouldn't mind having their opponent's field goal percentage. Unlike them, it's been four shots and poor effort. It was not a great half. The shooting was certainly worse in the first quarter. Player of the half. The chosen one did a great job of keeping his teammates involved offensively while still doing his own scoring. For me, I'm more impressed with the way he got his dime than the way he scored his points. I really like the way he exposed the defense in that opening half. Who was cold? Steph Curry certainly hasn't contributed much for his team when it comes to scoring. He kept trying his luck from distance, but more often than not, he was just unlucky. He missed quite a few threes. We got our top three plays for you. Check them out. Number three.
number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena for the second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Cleveland's got to be very happy. A nice, comfortable lead as we get set to start the third quarter. But they better not take it for granted. You can never be content with where you are in an NBA game. Too long a game, too many possessions. That's why you've got to be good defensively every possession. Unable to flip it in. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. James from beyond the arc. Livingston, the rebound. Oh, he slams it through. The assist from Cleveland's leading Golden State by a score of 30 to 16. James against Thompson. Gets past the defense. Nice. Irving fires as the shot clock expires. Irving's unable to hit. It's really hard to believe he's been so ineffective in this game from an offensive perspective particularly when you consider how potent he's been as a scorer this season. Thompson from outside, a three-pointer. And LeBron James with his fifth rebound. And he's been working hard around the rim here today, using his positioning to get the boards. near him takes the three Irving shot from downtown won't go too many wide open looks you're not going to make a comeback if you're just relying on a plan of hoping the other team misses rebound snatched by love he's averaging nine boards per game this season it's good three-pointer Kyrie Irving's one for two from three tonight there's nothing prettier than seeing a big-time shooter knocking a three from straight on. Livingston fires with one left on the 24. Two-pointer won't go. Golden State's just not set the right tone defensively. They're getting absolutely obliterated on that end of the floor. Irving against Curry. Irving for two, lets it, puts it in, and draws the foul. Stephen Curry picks up his first foul of the night. You earned it. Take the hit, take the blow, finish the play. Able to convert the free throw, and he completes the three-point play. And Steve Kerr calls a timeout. His team desperately trying to get back into this one. the third the Cavs up by 20 Curry walks it across into the game for the Golden State Warriors number 23 shoots the three misses from downtown Golden State's not having the kind of offensive consistency you need to win in this league they just can't seem to get into a rhythm Irving against Curry. Just gets it off in time. Rebounded by Green.
Thompson jump shot. Won't go. And the score. Oh, he goes for the save there. Ref says he just touched the line. It'll be Cavs ball. It's not going to happen for him. They're not getting back in this game if they continue to make these critical mistakes like stepping out of bounds. of room there that's good Cleveland six for 11 from long range and you play defense like this you deserve to lose you deserve to get blown out and that's what's happened here tonight green jump shot knocks it down a two-pointer he's averaging 11 points per game this season nice easy uncontested two-pointer Jouse looking to set up in the paint. James has the double team converge. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. It'll be Warriors ball. Barbosa brings it across. Barbosa fires away. James the rebound. Plenty of time, that's a three-pointer. Third quarter comes to an end, fourth quarter coming up. Cleveland's up by 21. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after this short break. Fourth quarter set to begin. Nice, comfortable lead. You want to wrap this one up early now. You're exactly correct, Mike. What you want to do, first three minutes, wrap this game up, take care of business. Don't allow them to even feel any confidence that they can work themselves back into the game. James from downtown. James, his three-pointer won't go. Listen, they're down big in the second half. Anybody can give in right now. I like to see players who are willing to play the full 48 minutes and contest shots just like that. Iguodala's looking to do damage in the paint. Just gets it off the time as the shot clock's expiring. Green shot off the mark. Love against Green. Stuffs it in the rim. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with a nice dunk. Puts it up from downtown. Knocks down the jumper for three. Golden State's three for 18 from three-point territory. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. Oh, reject. Trying to keep that ball in bounds. And it's out of bounds. Looks like the coach is going to make some changes. Yep, making up some substitutions. So again, the Cleveland Cavaliers, number two, Kyrie Irving. for the three-pointer. Misses from the perimeter. J.R. Smith's two for four from the outside. Barbosa against Irving. In the paint, that's good. That's just a nice layup right there. Irving against Barbosa. Fire. 
fires away from way beyond the arc. And Andrew Bogut with his fifth rebound. Cleveland's leading Golden State by a score of 41 to 23. off balance. Oh, nice rebound by Love. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Irving for two, shoots away. The Cavaliers with control on the rebound. And a foul. Clay Thompson picks up his second. And he'll head to the line with under two to go here in the fourth. Team foul number one. First foul in the last two minutes. Off the mark on the first free throw. them both. Curry fires. No defender even close. Clay Thompson with a nice dish. Stephen Curry with seven points. That's beautiful basketball right there. Getting a two-point shot. Look at that balance, rhythm, and follow through. Irving on the drive. They do not get a shot off in time. A shot clock violation called against the Cavaliers. Hey, this is absolutely swarming man-to-man -man defense. Not allowing the offense to get a shot at the basket. That's the required extra effort you need to win big in this league. Three-point attempt. Nails it from downtown. Stephen Curry with 10 points. That's a 10-0 run for the Warriors. James into the front court. Irving against Curry. Love's trying for low post position. The screen is set. James for two. It's good. And LeBron James with nine points. Hey, Mike, that bucket ends at my eyes. I'm out of here. You can carry me the rest of the night. Curry for two. Knocks it down. The Warriors down by 13. Hey, sometimes good offense Beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Irving on the drive. Can't get the layup to drop. You want to win in the NBA? You keep the ball out of the paint. You don't just rely on this shot. Can't hold on to the ball. Stripped away, stolen by Curry. Fires from three-point range. It's good. Great play from Stephen Curry. And this one is finished. The final score is 43 to 33. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying good night. everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Cavaliers were solid in today's victory. They put in a solid effort from long range, as you can see by these highlights. They were very effective when they chose to jack it up from deep. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Warriors put up a fight 
but didn't get their hands raised at the end. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you can tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Game track. Three-point field goal percentage. The Cleveland Cavaliers were able to stretch the defense because of how effectively they were scoring from long range. The opposition couldn't make the necessary adjustments and now have to settle with the loss. And here we have a look at the game stats. Player of the game. And here's a look at his stat line. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Here are the top plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.